In this video, we're going to take a look at Quizlet. Quizlet is an online flashcard creator. It allows you to create as many flashcards as you like, and you can study them on your own desktop, or you can study them on a tablet or a smartphone. So I'm going to go just to my main dashboard, and right now what you're looking at are uh, some of the flashcard decks that I have already studied. When you first open up your Quizlet account, you're going to see this is going to be blank. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to actually create a study set. So I'm going to click Create. The card set I'm going to create is Colors in Spanish. So you basically have one side of the card here and then the other side of the card here. I'm going to enter green. And when I go over on this side, first they're going to ask me if it's English, yes. And then over here, I'm going to click Spanish. And if I click this little search icon, it's actually going to give me some suggestions. Now, it doesn't do this for everything, but it's really helpful if you're using languages. So I'm going to choose that. Click over here. Choose the one I want. So I'll go through, and I'm going to make 12. Once I've completed my list, I just click Create. I can then share it with others through social media or I can add it to a class, and that's one of the features if you set this up as a teacher. I can also just send people a link directly to that set. Now that I have my set, I have a lot of options for what I can do with it. I can just study them as simple flashcards. Verde. Click it to flip. Green. Amarillo. If I'd like to hear the pronunciation again, I just click this. Amarillo. And click Yellow. it to flip. So you click the card to flip it, and you click these arrows here to advance. Rojo. Red. Notice that they're giving me the Spanish version first, and I think what I'd like to do is to see the English version and try to remember the Spanish version. So I would just go over here to Options, and right now it's set to start with Spanish. I can just change that to English. White. Or I have the option to choose you know, both, where they would just sort of switch it back and forth. Also, right now it's set to have the audio on. I can turn that off if I'd like to. Up here where it says study starred, let's take a look at what that means. So let's suppose with this card I um, had trouble with it and I want to remember to study it again later. I can just star it and then later on, if I'd like to only study the starred ones, then I can change that in the options. But there are also a whole bunch of other things I can do with these card sets. If I click learn, then they give me a term and I have to type it out. I have to type out my answer instead of just flipping it and guessing it. You can give yourself a spelling test. You just type what you hear. Green. I'm going to go ahead and type that to show you what it looks like and I'm going to enter it. It says I'm Pink. correct. Now it's telling me to spell the English word but it's giving me the Spanish word. Again, I'd like to reverse that so I just switch it. It's going to reset my progress. That's okay. Marron. It's even giving me the special character here, which is really pretty great. So let's do that. And that was Murado. correct. So that's the spelling test. This is just going to be more of a standard test. And it looks like they mix it up a little bit. It has you fill in the blank for some. It has you do some multiple choice, some true false. So it really just sort of sets it up like a typical test. There are also a couple of more interactive activities match. So it gives me some of my cards. Now notice this timer is running already. What I'm supposed to do is just um, match things up. So I can take like white for example, drag it onto Blanco, gray. Gravity is a different game. I gotta type my answer as I see the cue. So gold and that stopped it. So let's see what happens if I don't know an answer. I'm going to let pink fall. And that gives me the correct answer for that one. It looks like I can't get further unless I type the correct one in. So I'm going to type an incorrect answer now. It just keeps going. The last feature here is called Quizlet Live, and it is a way to invite students into a competitive game where they are working with a team to answer questions. That one I can't demonstrate because I don't actually have a team of people to demonstrate it with me. So those are just some of the main features available in Quizlet.